Hi guys, I'm Simla Gatchwink and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a full face makeup. Now as you can see, I've got my um, hair pulled back in anticipation. I've also got a lovely um, choke necklace on and this is just like my um, makeup shirt that I usually use. As you can see, I've already got some smudges on it. But today I'm going to be showing you how to apply um, foundation, uh, eyeliner, mascara, do your brows as well, some eyeshadow, um, eyeliner and also uh, blush and some light contouring as well on the face and of course you know the setting spray and everything as well so I think that's all that I'm going to cover today so um, stay tuned I guess anyways so basically um, let me get started with um, the very first thing I do which is using some of this um, Vaseline I like to apply it to my lips first just because like where you're applying lipstick to it. Of course, like if you have quite dry lips like mine, always helps to kind of like start off with like a little um, Vaseline, kind of like we lubricate things along whatever. So just gonna literally just apply it, kind of get it everywhere. Probably better to use too much than too little as well, so. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to start off by applying the um, moisturiser. And this is the moisturiser I use, the um, Cetaphil uh, Moisturising Lotion. So as you can see, I've got a lot of it because like, it is my favourite moisturiser. So just going to literally get a little bit of that, not too much, about that much. And um, yeah, start applying it and of course make sure your hands are clean before you actually start like applying it to your face. So, I don't know. Try and get it everywhere, tuck my lips in because I don't want to like get the Vaseline off while I'm applying it, so. I want to try and especially make sure it's like around your eyes as well since that's why we're going to be doing like a lot of work and everything, so. Okay, so that is pretty much the um, moisturising done. So now we're going to start off with this... Um, other um, petroleum jelly thing that I'm going to use. Now what I'm going to use this for is I'm going to put a little bit of it on my eyelashes, the very tops of them, and I'm going to put a little bit as well on my eyebrows and um, yeah, putting it on my eyelashes to begin with. So it's going to literally get that on there and that sticky, sticky substance will help in a second to really help like, um, of course, when I'm applying the mascara to help my eyelashes kind of like stay up and give you that desirable little um, decurve and everything. So, it's going to start applying that. So, okay, now that they're on my lashes, I'm going to start applying a bit to my eyebrows as well. So, just apply it again, rather too much than too little. So, that's one eyebrow done. And... That is the um, other eyebrow done basically. So now that I've got the Vaseline on my eyelashes and my eyebrow, I'm going to take this lovely um, device here. Now you're probably thinking, wow, is that a torture device? No, it isn't, it's actually a um, eyelash curler. So what we're gonna do is very carefully make sure we get our eyelashes in there. So there we go, that's our eyelashes. And um, once they're in there, we're just gonna push it and that's gonna curl them up as you can see with the curler, so. We're really going to hold it down and um, yeah, it's probably best off to apply like um, heat to it beforehand, but I don't really, I mean, I don't really notice that that much difference. So just going to apply some pressure, then release it. And as you can see, <coughs> excuse me, and then as you can see, we've got the um, lashes sticking up a bit as compared to this one. So we're going to do exactly the same thing with this eye now as well. So get the lashes in there, really pull it up and everything. And um, yeah, kind of hold it there for a while. So here we go. Just really hold it down and... There we go, release it. Okay, so now that we've got our um, eyelashes um, sticking up a bit, we're gonna begin to apply the mascara. And um, yep, here we go. Let me just get the uh, mascara for y'all. Um, where's it gone? Here it is. So this is the um, mascara that I like to use. It is the um, <clears throat> uh, Deborah Malolo um, 24 Hour Instant Maxi Volume Mascara. 
and of course it is um, waterproof and everything, so that's the product and all that. So I'm going to take this out quickly now and um, yeah, begin to apply it and everything. So I'm just looking around as well and just like I've noticed, even though I've got literally almost everything, I didn't bring my cotton buds with me, which um, is going to be important in a sec, I'll show you, but um, probably just going to have to run and get those in a sec, but it's not going to take that long, so... And again, as I hope you will be able to see, applying that um, Vaseline just really helps to like give the um, eyelashes that kind of lift and everything, as you can see with that one. So now we're just going to dip it again. Here we go. And um, yeah, just do exactly the same thing. So with that eye, I mean, try not to be an idiot like me and poke yourself in the eye, literally. So... There we go. Oh my God, I just poked myself in the eye. Shit, I said I wasn't gonna do it, but. I don't know, I lied. And um, yeah, try to get some on your underlash as well, so. Okay, now as you can see, with applying the mascara, you have got some that didn't go like exactly where I wanted it. Like this eye, for example, there's a line underneath. There's also just some like bits of mascara kind of like um, all over the place, so. That is where the um, cotton buds would come in handy. So basically, I'm going to take this um, cotton bud here and I'm just going to literally wipe away um, any mascara that's got where I don't want it to be, so. Just going to take it, wipe it along, and that really helps to, um, yeah, just get rid of any errors you've made while applying it, so. There we go. Okay, that's done. And now this eye as well. Again, try not to waste them, try and use like every side, like you want to get as much off as possible, so. Okay, there we go. And again, that's why you want to apply like a lot of moisturizer to your um, eyes as well, just because like the work you, that you will be doing, it will eventually rub off and everything. So, okay, now that the, um, my, um, now that the um, mascara's done, I'm going to be using one of um, these ones. It is a comb with some brushes and that is for the eyebrows. As you can see, it is a bit dirty because, of course, I seldom, like, clean them between um, doing makeup. So I'm going to literally clean it off uh, quickly. There we go. I've cleaned it off. I'm going to give it a quick um, dry using one of my um, uh, cotton wool pads. So, yep, just give that a quick dry, get any, like, water off. Okay, so now I'm going to be using this to comb my uh, eyebrows, guys. So, as you can see as well, I haven't shaped them properly, but... Um, yeah, I, I thought just like, I don't know why I even do that, honestly. So, um, yep, so I'm just going to do that. I mean, I usually do have them shaped, but of course they've just grown out a bit, so I'm just going to literally um, work with what I've got seriously. So, um, <clears throat> yep, there we go as well. And I will be combing these again in a bit as well. So basically... Um, now I'm going to be using my um, foundation. I always do this first, but for some reason on this video, I've actually forgot to um, do it first. So I don't know, that is a bit of a mistake, but you know, hey ho. So this is the um, Pro Fusion Flawless 2-in-1 uh, foundation and the, um, and it is, I don't know, um, Flawless and Concealer. I'm trying to find like the skin tone that it is, but I think it quite like, um, quite well like matches my skin tone and everything so I'm gonna excuse me as well because like I've got a bit of um I put like a bit of vapor rub on my nose because I kind of have a cold cold at the moment and it's kind of like I think I use too much of it because it's starting to like drip down onto my lips so I'm so disgusting right now honestly so ah, let me get that off okay guys so <clears throat> Ignore me just like dying right now. Anyway, so I'm going to be using this now. It's going to apply the foundation. There it goes. Apply some on my upper lip, apply some on my nose. Here, here. And a big splotch on my forehead. There we go. And again, I will probably need to um, recomb my... Um, uh, eyebrows and everything but that's okay I've just got to basically be careful when it comes like round to my um 
Uh, yeah, eyes because of the mascara that I've already put on. I mean, I usually always do this first. I'm not sure why I forgot it this time, but I don't know, I just did, so. Just gonna literally give it like a good few taps across my face, really to like help spread it and everything. Of course, like I wanna like get it um, close to my eyes as well, but like not mess up the mascara if you get what I mean. So as you can see, just tapping it, we've got like a fair amount like spread all over it, so. Just gonna continue to do that, kind of like dab it as well. So, as you can see there, it's going, it's going on. So, get it on my um, eyebrows as well, kind of get it like up, push it towards your hairline to really um, help hide the natural skin tone of your face. I mean, it helps if you have like a foundation that's like matched to your skin, but this one obviously isn't like ever so slightly. So I don't know, you just want to make sure that's all blended in and everything. So again, trying to like show on my lips and all that. So again, just try and like spread it, get it everywhere. I'm going to try and like not to mess up my mascara as much as I possibly can, so. Okay, there we go. Really try to get it in the corners as well. Excuse me. So as you can see, there it goes. And um, yeah, you just basically want to get it everywhere. I mean, it's pretty well covered right now, but I'm literally just going to take this, blend it in a bit more, dab it to my face, and that will really help to just kind of settle it and everything. Kind of like a ghost at the moment, don't I? Just like, boo. Anyway, um, so. Okay, now that that's all spread, I'm just gonna literally dab it a bit under my chin as well. To just kind of help it uh, blend into my natural skin tone. So there we go, and just like dab it up and down, up and down across. Okay, there we go. Okay, that side's looking all right. Now I'm just gonna do this side quickly. Okay, and last but not least on my forehead. Just gonna do that again quickly. Okay, so that is pretty much blended. I don't want to spend too much time on it. But yeah, that's pretty much the foundation done, guys. I know it took a while, and I should not done. It, I should have done it first, but that is it done. And um, as you can see, the mascara is still intact, and the lips are still okay. Of course, like, um, still. And I don't know if you can see, but, like, where I've got lip filler done, of course, like, it seldom, like, stays, like, in your actual lips. It tends to migrate. So that, that's what those two bumps are there, literally where it's like migrated like beyond my lip and everything. Just thought I kind of like point that out on everything for like those of you like considering lip filler. Like it stays in your lips and like looks good for a while but of course it does like migrate and all that so I don't know. Anyway, so now that the um, foundation is done, I'm going to just give my um, eyebrows one last um, comb so. There we go. and just really make sure that they look proper. Try and comb them straight up and just kind of like taper off when it gets to the sides. That's how I do them anyway, so. 
Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna take this um, cotton bud and just ever so lightly um, run it along my um, eyebrows, just to kind of like keep that shape and everything, so. There we go, ever so lightly, because you don't want to scrape like a lot of foundation off, so. That is pretty much the eyebrows done. That's probably all I do for them, to be honest. I mean, I like them like looking the same shade of my hair and the foundation in them as well just kind of rarely helps that look. Um, go along. I don't like them looking like too prominent or too black. So yeah, that's pretty much the eyebrows. And um, yep, now I, I I was going to um, do some eyeshadow. So um, yeah, I'm probably going to choose a purple eyeshadow. Again, unfortunately, it's not on me. So literally, wait ten seconds. I will get right back. So um, <clears throat> okay guys, so here is my eyeshadow that I'm going to use. So this is the um, Spectrum uh, Profusion um, eyeshadow. As you can see, it's got a bunch of lovely colours. So basically, what I'm going to do is take this out and everything, and now I'm going to um, dip my um, uh, eyeshadow blush in it. So I'm just going to literally get a bit of that on there and begin applying it. So. Just really try and spread as, mu as much as it on as possible. Oop, excuse me. Um, and really help get the line. I like to take it up quite high as well, like to my brow even. So I'm gonna end it just before my brow and um, yeah, just continue to spread it, so. Okay, that's all done on that eye, guys. And now I'm just going to do the other eye. So I'm going to swap hands and just basically uh, do that on the other eye. So just really like spread it across. I bloody love purple anyway, it's like one of my favourite colours, so. Just really like to have fun with it. Okay, I'm just... Okay, so that is pretty much the eyeshadow done, guys. So that is how it looks and everything. Um, I'm literally gonna do just a tiny bit more on the edges, just to make sure it like blends okay, so. Again, sometimes I like blend my eyeshadow. Sometimes I go like from pink to purple and whatever, but I don't think that's really like necessary this time, so. Just gonna do a great big dab of purple. So I don't know, it looks pretty okay, doesn't it guys? And take it up there as well. So that is basically the eyeshadow done. So as you can see, that is taken up quite high, but you know, I don't really mind it because like I have like kind of prominent um brow and everything. So like I don't know, just kind of like helps hide some of the volume or whatever, I don't know. So now that that's done, I'm going to put this away and begin with my eyeliner. So this is my um, eyeliner pencil here. It is the, um, not pencil, sorry, it's liquid eyeliner. It's um, Eye, Eye Captain and um, the eyeliner. So 
it's a pretty um, groovy name. So basically, I'm just going to take this out. <clears throat> As you can see, it's like this, and you want to be quite careful. So what I usually do is with both hands, just kind of like steady myself, because you do not want to mess up eyeliner, because it's quite, um, cause especially it being a liquid, it's quite hard to like um, remove anything, like if you've made a mistake, um, even with like cotton buds and all that. So I'm going to very gently just try to get like um, that triangle from the end of my eyebrow going down to my eye and then across kind of in the direction of the center of my um, eye eyelash. So um, as you can see, that is me marking it out. So I've made a dot there. I've made a dot there as well. And I've made a dot there. So as you can see, that is a triangle that you want to kind of do from there to there to there. So I'm going to try to help do that now. So and I'm just going to draw that triangle. So. Okay, so that is probably um, that, eyeliner, that eyeliner down that side. I'm quite happy with it. So now I'm going to dip it again and um, go on to the other eye. So again, I'm going to make that triangle. So, um, oh, actually, when you notice that there's too much on it even, you can just like literally um, rub it off because of course, you know, when there's a bit much, it can tend to like run and you can make a mistake. So just make sure that it's quite pointy and that there's no there's no um excess substance on it so Okay, so I've done the eyeliner on this side. It looks slightly bigger, but that's fine. Um, okay, that looks pretty right, guys. I don't think like that really needs um, that much of a touch up. So that is my eyeliner done. So of course that's supposed to like elongate your eyes and give you those kind of like cat eyes and everything. So. Now that that's done, I'm gonna literally um, <clears throat> put that back in its case and everything. So, okay, now that that's done, we're gonna move on to the um, groovy eyelashes. So actually, um, second thoughts, I'll probably do the lips first, just because like, I tend to wanna like, wait till like everything's dried around here before I start putting my fingers in, kind of like, you know, really trying to get those eyelashes on because it kind of like smudges things up, so. I don't know, I'll wait a bit and just do my lips now. So I'm going to use my um, lip pencil. That is my lip pencil. So um, yeah, now I'm gonna uh, begin to try, uh, draw my lips on. And this is the lipstick that I will be using. It is the No Transfer Matte 20 and it's the um, Debra Milano uh, Velvet um, Matte Lipstick, the fluid one. So um, yep. Yeah. Rosetto Liquido, so yeah, I really like Deborah Malono, what can I say? Um, anyway, so, um, you, again, using this pencil, I'm just gonna literally trace like around my lip line, so. There and there, there we go, we've done the bottom lip, so. I know it looks a bit faded already, but it's really to like, to help you kind of find where your lip lines are and possibly draw over if you want that, so. Okay, that looks pretty alright, guys. Um, okay. So that is basically how my lips are going to look. Again, pretty full on the bottom and of course, pretty full on the top. So <clears throat> now I'm going to take my um, lipstick out. Let me just put this pen away quickly. Quickly. Um, this is just a um, 
New York um, lip liner pen. I got it as part of a set from TK Maxx on offer. And again, this is our lipstick that I've already told you that we're gonna start using. So um, it's gonna literally take that. As you can see, it's very pink. And um, which I love, of course. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world, seriously. So um, yeah, again, take this pen and literally just trace um, what we've just done with a lip pencil. So. And that's honestly a gorgeous colour in it, seriously. So I'm just trying to like spread the colour on at the moment, but as you can see, it already looks just like absolutely amazing, so. Try and spread some on the other side as well, and um, yeah. And I don't know guys, that is pretty well spread, so. Not quite duck lips, but yeah, pretty um full and sizable anyway. So that is the um, lipstick all done now guys, so let me put that away. And um, yeah, next we're going to move on to the um, eyelashes. And after the eyelashes, I'm gonna show you how to do the contouring and also the um, blush, so continue to stick around for that, I guess, so. Going to be using the um, Kiss um, glue, and um, yeah, I'm just going to literally be taking that out now. So, <clears throat> okay, so oh my god, shit, just dropped something. So, there is the um, eyelash and everything. So, literally get a good spread on it. And again, with these lashes, it's good because they're reusable, but of course, there will come a point. As you will see with my ridiculous, like, bushy eyelash that I'm going to use in later videos, where, like, too much glue gets on it, and um, also the eyeshadow, and it just becomes, like, too fat and heavy towards the base to, like, apply on your eyes, and kind of the position gets all mucked up as well. So, um, anyway, that is a good spread of glue that we've got on it, and with the eyelash as well. I'm not sure if you can notice, but there is an end that is actually longer and fuller. So that side there is, of course, the shorter side that goes into your eye and that side is the longer side that goes out so this eyelash is going to be for um this eye because it's the wrong way around so let me just take that okay i'm gonna literally um stick it to the um bridge of my um eye at the very top of my eyelashes at first and then we're gonna take our fingers and press it down once we've got it in that position so Again, so there we go. We have added the eyelash to that eye. It's only stuck in the middle though. So now we're gonna take our fingers and just press it down on either side to really make sure it holds, so. Again, you just want to do it for like a few, good few seconds, really make sure like it sticks and everything, so. Just 
just gently release your fingers and that is pretty much stuck i mean one gripe is like in the corner where like it hasn't stuck entirely but i don't know that's pretty right and you can always like try more attempts just really press it down to kind of like hold it there but anyway i'm quite happy with that so now that i'm happy with it i'm going to literally do the other one now so again that is just the fullness that you get from a false lash as compared to that's my normal lash and that is the false lash and that is just a massive difference in it seriously so <clears throat> i was raining outside but i live in the uk so i'm used to it gal honestly so, um, where is my, <clears throat> um, so here it is, so I'm going to literally take that and uh, begin applying it, so there we go, <clears throat> excuse me, um, so really kind of like spread that all the way along so you've got like a good even piece of glue alongside it so <clears throat> okay so now I'm gonna literally take the eyelash and do exactly the same thing that I did so I'm gonna find the middle of my eye press it down hold it there for a while leave it so that is how it looks that is on the very center of my eye so now I'm gonna literally um Take my fingers and kind of press it down. So give me a second. Okay. Um. There we go. And again, you just want to hold it for a few seconds. So. Okay, that's pretty right. I'm going to release it. Three, two, one. Okay, and as you can see, that has stuck reasonably well. So those are my um four slashes now. So that is how they look and everything. Just like seriously. Anyway, so now I'm going to be doing my um contouring and blush. So I'm probably going to do the um contouring and blush at the same time. So I'm only going to be using one end of my contour stick. This is my, um, oh my God. This is my uh, contour stick that I've got here. So you'll be able to see one end is white and the other end is brown. And I have a little sheet that shows you how to do it. So basically this is how you highlight. So of course you highlight with the white end of a blush. Um, you do the, uh, the um, close to the eyes, you do on top of the brows. And again, just under the um, bottom lip. And again, with the brown, you do your cheekbones, also your sides here and here to your temple. Also coming round um, in a heart shape to the um, bottom of your lip where you've done the white. And of course, then you blend it. And that is supposed to be the result. So I'm not sure if it will focus on it. Maybe I need to get out the frame. So, oh no, right, it's not really focusing on it. But as you can see, that is pretty much um, what you do. And I'm just going to show you on my face quickly. So... <clears throat> okay, so again, taking a lighter end of the stick, I'm going to do what it said. So, to make my nose look thin, because of course I have such a fat snaz, don't I? Seriously. It's like the Wicked Witch of the West, just like, bro. Anyway, so I'm going to take this um, contour stick and literally just draw a white line down it. Again, you want to use like too much contour than too little, so... And try and get it like looking as symmetrical as possible as well just so it blends well so okay so that oh my god okay so that is pretty much my nose and um yeah anyway now i'm going to um be doing the rest of it so i'm going to literally um do a line here 
again you want to use quite a bit of it so there we go there's that line and white on the other side as well just to highlight it so okay so that is that side done as well I'm going to be doing a bit below the bottom lip as well okay there's that And just on my brows as well. Okay, so there we go. That is the um, highlighted portion of the contouring done. So I'm going to put that away now. <clears throat> and I'm not going to be using a dark side just because I don't like how um, dark it is on my skin. So I'm going to be using, in lieu of that, this um, lovely pink lipstick or I would do but it is broken so I'm going to be using the red one actually to do it which is just as good I think I use the pink one just because it looks a bit lighter but that's no worries I just use a cheap red lipstick and that is basically my um uh, blush and it's basically a good way to do it so right under the highlighted section I'm going to draw it um and actually because like I could get someone on my um brush and I don't want to like um cross mix them I'm actually going to be using this brush now and kind of blend what I've already got on my face before I even do the um, uh, blush section. Blush section, so. Okay, so that is that section done now. I'm doing my nose. Again, try not to break your nose as you're doing it, so. Do the sides as well. <clears throat> okay, so that is pretty much the um, nose all done, guys. So as you can see, already looks so much better than it <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna be doing these highlights just above my cheeks now so just really dab 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 and blend it in so it's that side done and now the side so Okay, so that is that highlighted, and as you can see, it's already starting to come together and everything, so I'm gonna do that. And now I'm literally gonna go along that um, brow line. There we go, and now this side. Okay, so that is pretty much the difference. So let me stand back a bit and um, yeah, so. Okay, so that is pretty much um, the um, contouring kind of stuff done. So now I'm just gonna apply my blush now. So I'm gonna be using this um, red lipstick and um, yeah, I'm just gonna like literally um, do a line just below this bit. So literally follow and the cheekbone, that is the cheekbone there, so I'm gonna do. That, again, I'm trying not to use too much of it, so I want to try and get a parallel, so. And that as well. So that is basically um, what I've done there. Thinking, oh my god, you just messed it up. Wait, 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 seriously. I can literally fix it, so. I'm going to be taking my um, blush brush now, which of course is like much more red because I do this all the time, so. And there we go with the blush, guys, so. I'm 
want to really try to follow those laughter lines as well so kind of bring it up and just blend it down ever so slightly okay so that is that side done so now i'm going to do this side <clears throat> There we go. Again, that is just literally coming in. Take that across and everything. Go on the bottom as well to kind of blend it and slightly on the top, just to kind of like make sure that blends in. down and up so okay guys so that is pretty much the blush done now so um i even think that that is pretty much everything so what we're going to do now is take some setting spray so i'm literally going to stand back a bit oh oh my god so here we go um try and close your eyes ready one two three Honestly, wow. Um, open my eyes a bit. Oh my God, seriously, that is so much. Anyway, so that's the spray we basically just helped hold it and everything. So now the very last thing I do is my hair. So I'm going to take this thing off quickly. And um, yeah, I begin to do my hair, guys. So let's push that back a bit. I'm going to take this comb, literally. run it down the length of my hair I've just washed it as well so it should be still kind of like wet and everything wow look at all that hair that's come off seriously shedding hair like a cat or something um just gonna find the middle pull it to one side again try and find the middle there pull it to one side not be too like um you know um hard with like the strokes as well because like, i don't want to pull all my hair out or something so yeah now let me use the brush again and i'm literally just going to pull that to the side try my best to <clears throat> tuck it behind my ear as well so there's that side behind my ear very neat and tidy there we go and just literally along here like that. So there we go. I'm gonna literally tuck that in again, so. Okay, so there we go. Okay guys, so that is pretty much my hair done and everything. So again, I'm trying to like grow it out into like a ponytail or whatever. But um, of course, like I haven't got there yet. So I'm just literally combing it there, tucking it behind my ears. And I'm going to put like a tad of water on now, just to kind of like help it hold um, hold it stay. So, put the water on, push it down, there we go. And um, yeah, there we go. So that is pretty much the um, full makeup tutorial um, done, guys. So... Yay, we got through it, didn't we? Just like, oh my god, seriously. So, anyways, I really hope you super duper enjoyed. I've been some Lego Twink, and um, yeah, um, if you like have any questions, of course, feel free to like comment or anything if there was anything I missed, or you just like want to know like any like tricks or anything. And um, yeah, just like your own ideas, or you just want to tell me how fabulous I am, and I'll be like, stop, stop, queen, honestly. But um, yeah, anyways, um, like and subscribe, of course, if you like the video. And um, yeah, please have a lovely, wonderful day. My cherubs or something. So um, cool. Bye. Just the final result, so. Scary, seriously, rare, honestly. But no, nah, anyways, cool. Bye.